So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? It's sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I gotta... What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Oh. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smart, you'll find him.
Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the Witch's Tower. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. Just magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Look here. Another marker. Father, do you do you think I could carry her now? No. But I I said no. Okay. Thing carved the face in the mountain. You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right.
Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know... Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tjodenhan? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath. of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. All the way across. There's a sand bowl. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, but no my call. Hmm. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Ready yourself! This must have been important to the Giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. I can almost make it out. Runes! I can read it now! Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. 
Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them.
Boy, another light crystal. Just look at this place. It feels so... Dead. I was gonna say ancient, but that works too. Boy. Sir. Ah, I was wondering about this. This is a lot of bodies.
Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. The statue! We made it across! Read it. Yes, sir. Oh, this is Durothrum, one of the four stacks of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. I've seen this language before. Still our goal. We find a way up. Peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Brasley. It means terror. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal light. Some kind of lantern? No wit, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Hey, who do you think lit these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. Stop that. Come on, that was just... Okay. <gasps> Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. How do we use it? I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Stop! But maybe we can find our way up through there. After, you know, getting rid of those things.
Definitely Odin. Now, I see the giants not only mine the mountain, but actually live here. Well, that's not going anywhere. Can you read it? Yes, sir! That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, the Odin are only. And another wrote, also door. Uh, I was wondering who woke up every day. No. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. Traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. Touch I see that. Let's go. through that big gate up there? Yeah! <laughs> 
If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know. special about them. I can feel it. That looks heavy. No way. You did it! I think we can make the rope wheel work now. Why give us the way to the top?
All the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. to watch your mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Stay back! Stay back! The tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. More tests. Ward must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. Not be as long a way up as we thought. 
Attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. Focus up, boy.
It would seem. Father, after we scatter the mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your trading. Okay. fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Hey, Oakley! Over here!
have a plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. did it. And you! Ah! But, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply on our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I explain this? Oh, oh, I see. Figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. 
I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Come back anytime. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Let's do it. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all of his stuff? Oh. <laughs> no. no, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh. Sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Prepared in good health. Tidy up your knapsack. What do you have your eye on? Now, there is something else to... Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything. We win because we are determined. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I don't know. It's just... It feels good. Be strong. You know? Yes, I know.
shatter it? Ha! Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange huh! though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once, but it's going again. Well done. Another one here. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one. Oh. I think I was too young. Are yeah. the signs coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. What's that? Yeah! <laughs> 
Boy. Sir. Long now, man. Look, the summit. We're so close now. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Surely you've had some fun rolling around under them. You know why we're here. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me. So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, 
We'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget. We're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough.
Yuna, we're going to Yuna. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's, that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those Muspelheim runes. house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake I know just where to go hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring the mirror back you seem nice before you cut off his head Must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but... I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about- My kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has up the sense to sip or sup. And if he does remember, good luck in the meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit pister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Did you scare up that alchemist what needed fine?
back to the witch from here. That way, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, didn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? I bet this will lead out. Turn back, AC. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. Look here. Huh. Neat. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Oh! <laughs> 
What does it say? Yes, sir. Save their neat things upon all who trust us. She is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. Boy? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? 
Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good! That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. 
Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment, though. Now that, if you thought I said you were friends of Odin, you'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Get to the boat. We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little. I'm happy to do whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our oh, focus is the road. Completely understand. Taken I'll finish later, lad. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Guess we're doing this! among the living. My beloved Gulving calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them apart. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. 
proud family or hope to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOG, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Oh, no. You fell in the village? Aye. When fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. <laughs> of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Darn. That didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. Good idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything.
is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead. And I'll find light crystal. Can you read it? Yes, sir. So in the Lord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that the Lord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. That they loved and worshipped him here.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Sorry, no! 
Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water dropped. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Ready and ready. Just a, it was a question. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. So handsome. And we're back to you. What a surprise. Tide you over. Psst. How about you, young one? Fine piece of work. If I say so myself. Is there something else? Let's do it. Done and done.
Travel safe, you two. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a redstone? We heading into that building? Yes. I think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chest. thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? and what we need is all the way down there. Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. Going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways.
horse gloves. Sandal, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Do oh, I know that one? Winter that... Quiet, Head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Do it. House. Come on. Bar. That's it. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the wall! Thor! 
Having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. If the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leave my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. 
Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? We'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Remember, you just can't help but break things, can you? Memory serves. The Jarl Stone was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Hey, Sindri. Oh. 
The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? What speaks to you? That'll come in handy. And for you? Don't forget to wash your hands. Hands. Would you focus on your damn? Brother, we may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? Strong one, you. Don't tell me. Us. What does Odin want? Hold on. Come here, Hathor. You done that is hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! No! Can't believe you would have with this though. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh, oh I'm more than happy to teach each other. I'll take it out. Yeah! 
Let it out. Focus. The boy's sick. He needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him.
Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel.